Now, there have been further revelations in the ongoing spy scandal in the UK. The world's major telecommunication firms have been working alongside a British intelligence agency, handing over swathes of private data. Documents leaked by US whistleblower Edward Snowden suggest that Verizon Business, Vodafone Cable and BT were among those who gave GCHQ unlimited access to their network of cables. Their collaboration allowed the agency to harvest millions of of phone calls, emails and Facebook conversations. And this comes in the wake of reports that America's National Security Agency is generously funding British surveillance. The details now from RT's Sarah Firth. Incredibly high profile names there in the telecommunications industry and those uh, three big companies and the four smaller companies really making up uh, a large part of the uh, high capacity undersea fibre optic cables uh, that really make up the backbone of the internet architecture. Now, back in June, the Guardian newspaper had revealed details of GCHQ's so-called data hoovering programs. Now, this was where GCHQ, it's alleged, were able to tap into these fibre optic cables and then store vast amounts of data for up to 30 days. Now, this was named Operation Tempera, and uh, the German newspaper has just published what it's alleged is the most sensitive aspect of this operation, and that is the name of the commercial companies that were passing along this information. They were all given top secret code names. BT, it's alleged codenamed Remedy. Verison Business, allegedly codenamed Dacron. Uh, now, telecommunications providers can be compelled uh, to cooperate with requests uh, from governments under the 1984 Telecommunications Act. But what uh, privacy advocates are really concerned with here is that these big companies haven't been uh, giving enough of a challenge to requests for this large-scale surveillance. So the companies have yet to respond to these specific allegations, but the German newspaper saying that uh, the details that they've gone through, and this is from the big chunk of information leaked by whistleblower Edward Snowden prior to uh, his uh, gaining asylum in Russia, and the German newspaper said this really shows now that telecoms uh, firms were far more complicit in US, uh, UK spying activities, 100 million pounds were provided by Washington to GCHQ over a period of three years. Now, they were payments that were made to secure access to uh, British, in British intelligence gathering programs. And uh, in return, it was alleged that GCHQ was uh, required to, quote, pull its weight. So certainly the backlash that you're going to see and are already seeing if you take a look online at some of the customer comments, of course, huge concern that these very well-known companies, it's appeared, uh, have allegedly uh, breached their customers' privacy in this way.